Hi, this is Sam with The Verge on the first official day of CES, and I've just checked out Corning's booth. Uh, you might know Corning is the company that makes Gorilla Glass, which goes into the iPhone and a whole bunch of other smartphones. Um, but here at CES today, they're trying to show off um, their vision for how Gorilla Glass can be used in a whole bunch of other applications. Uh, one possible application for Gorilla Glass is in the car. Uh, Corning has announced a partnership with Ford to put Gorilla Glass in some models of the GT. And Gorilla Glass is lighter than regular glass, so if you have one of the layers in the windshield made of Gorilla Glass, that gives you less drag on the car, and it's better for fuel consumption as well. But Corning also thinks that you could use Gorilla Glass in the console, so because the glass can be bent, it allows it to sort of bend the screen to fit the contours of the dashboard itself. Elsewhere, they're looking for applications in the home, so they demonstrated a matrix of 10 55-inch panels that are sort of all bonded by Gorilla Glass, uh, and it could basically replace a wall in a futuristic home. Uh, Corning says that you, you'd want Gorilla Glass for this because of its durable qualities, because people are going to be bouncing into it all the time. And that's, a, that's another reason why they've been demonstrating things like a Gorilla Glass covered touchscreen office table, which it thinks could be used for uh, productivity software in offices. And ag again, they think that um, the durable nature of Gorilla Glass is important for this because you know, you're going to be setting down coffee cups and so on. So yeah, this is the first official day of CES, so stay tuned for a whole lot more news from the show floor. You can check that out at theverge.com or youtube.com slash theverge.